by a lucky break, <laughs> I went to a lecture by Ida Roth. And I was um, a dancer. I had just gotten a dance degree, master's degree in choreography, and I was kind of lost and didn't know what to do, and I had been Rolfed. At that time, there were maybe 12 Rolfers in the world. And um, I was lucky enough to have met one of them and had some work, and she said, Dr. Rolf is coming to town. Don't you want to hear a lecture? And so I went. And there was this lady talking about gravity. And that was what inspired me, really, because one of my ballet teachers had talked about gravity, and she was unique. I mean, this was the late 60s. Nobody talked about gravity in relationship to persons. You know, gravity was something you did in physics class. But the fact that gravity could be an organizing factor was intriguing to me. So I knew she was teaching a class, and I went up and said, could I come? And she sort of looked me up and down and started to say no. <laughs> and I said, well, I don't really want to do the work. I don't want to learn to do the work. I just want to learn to see what you see. So that was the magic words. I think Dr. Rolf saw each one of us for who we could become. And she, she didn't think much of me as a manual therapist, and she was right. I mean, in those days, I've learned a thing or two in the meantime, 50 years almost. But she called me the little school teacher. And at the time, I was like, God, don't call me that, you know? I didn't like it. But she was right, because that's, that's really what I love, is teaching movement, teaching other people to teach movement, teaching people to learn to see what people are feeling, um, learning, teaching people to value what they feel, because that's so lost in our culture. So that was one thing about Dr. Rolf, is that I think she saw where we were going. <laughs>